What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be comparing the PlayStation 2 AV cable to the components cable. Let's get right into this. Now recently I've been wanting to play my PlayStation 2, but as you guys can see behind me here, I have a more of a modern TV. I don't have one of the old TVs like the ones that were back in the day when the PlayStation 2 was originally released. Now for me, the cable that I did have with my PlayStation 2 was the original AV cable. It's actually Sony branded. And this is what I used back on the old TVs back in the day, but using it on one of the more modern TVs here, it has more of a blurry effect on the screen. It's almost stretching it to make it pretty much full screen. And everything is pretty blurry. The text is blurry and a lot of other elements as well on the screen. So since I did want to play my PlayStation 2, I did want to upgrade and try to find something that had a better picture on the screen so I can actually enjoy playing some of my games from my childhood. Now I did stumble upon a bunch of different options. Luckily for me, my TV, even though it is more modern, it is a little bit older and it does have both the hookups for the AV cable and also the component cable in the back. Now if you have a more modern TV than I do, then you likely only have HDMI port which for the PlayStation 2, there still is HDMI converters and HDMI hookups for the PlayStation 2 to convert to that. And if you guys are interested, I will get those in the future and test those and see how those work. But today we're just going to be comparing the AV cable to the component cable. I picked up this component cable on Amazon for only $20. It is the one that has the two red, a white, a green, and a blue. And luckily for me, my TV has all of those ports in the back. So first, let's hook up the AV cable here, the original one that came with the PlayStation 2, and see how it looks full screen on my more modern TV here. And we're gonna test it with a game as well. And then we're gonna go hook up the component cables and show you guys the difference. So here we go, we do have the AV cable hooked up here. Now, whenever you are using the AV cable, whenever you go to component video out, it will say RGB, that is the one for the AV cable to make it work. If you do have it switched to the other one, your screen could be just black and white and have no color. So you do need to have it on the right setting. So this is using the AV cable, and I'm actually gonna be testing it on SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, one of my favorite games from my childhood. It has a lot of menu options, and you'll be able to see the difference with the AV cable here. So to me, everything here does look blurry. On my camera, it does look a little bit better but it does look blurry to me so just going through here here on my TV you can barely make out uh, some of the names because the white text is just blending all together here it says King Booker but on the screen you can barely make that out but anyways that is the AV cable we are going to be switching out to the component cable and just test out and see if you guys can tell the difference now before you turn on your PlayStation 2 you're going to want to make sure you switch from the AV input setting to the component input setting. And here is the PlayStation 2 with the component cable on a modern TV. So everything does look way more clean and crisp. It has more sharp edges on it and you can actually tell the difference on the uh, camera recording here. You do have to make sure you have it on this setting here. If you don't have it on the right input setting on your TV or this one is wrong and you're using a different cable, your screen will be black and white. You have to make sure you have it on the component setting on your TV and you have it on this setting here for your video out. So now let's put on the game and see how it looks. So just starting out on the screen here, it does look way better. Such a huge improvement going from the AV cable to the component cable. Everything looks clean and crisp. The text looks crisp on the TV, the logos, everything is just more vibrant and you can see everything now. But now loading, you can actually make out the text completely. The logos look amazing. Everything looks a little bit brighter as well. We're actually gonna go back to the 24 seven mode and just check that out because you can see more text in the 24 seven mode and looking at it it does look a lot better you can actually make out all of the text now you can actually tell that it says king booker and it has everybody's name so this is such a huge improvement compared to the av cable and i definitely do recommend 
So there we have it, the PlayStation 2 AV cable versus the component cable. Of course, if your TV does not support either one of those cables, there is also converters and also HDMI attachments that you can also use. I haven't tested any of those out yet, but if you guys want me to, I will. Just let me know in the comments down below. But going from AV cable versus the component cable, Component cable is definitely a way better option. The AV cable did work great on the older TVs, but if you do want to play full screen, which most people do nowadays because that's like a modern console, then it definitely is better to go with the component cable. The AV cable just looked a lot blurry. The text, uh, the colors were duller. It was very blurry just in game in general and everything did look stretched out. Going to the component cable, which you guys seen here, you couldn't really tell much of a difference on video. I am gonna be putting some screenshots and some pictures that I took because those you could actually tell the difference. The AV cable was blurry, and the component cable was not, and everything looked clean and crisp. The colors were more vibrant with the component cable, and if your TV does have the option for either one of these cables and it does have the uh, plugs in the back of your TV, then I recommend the component cable over the AV cable, and looking at everything I shared in this video, it does make a huge difference. Now again, there are some HDMI options and I am considering some of those as well because obviously I do want the best experience whenever I'm playing my PlayStation 2. I want to remember all of the games that I played on my childhood and try to play them like I remember them. So if it's all blurry and distorted and stretched out, I'm not going to enjoy it as much as if it is full screen and clean and crisp. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now you know the difference between the AV cable for the PlayStation 2 and the component cable. Obviously, if you're using even an older TV, I would still recommend the component cable because it just has way better colors and everything does look perfect and clean and crisp. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this one here. Please take care. Peace.